The Democrats seem to be stuck on an increasing cycle of spending. The Republicans, for reasons I don't understand, are stuck on a cycle of trying to cut taxes, but without cutting spending. Now, deficits are future taxes. So if you cut uh, taxes but don't do anything about spending, you're just raising the deficit, you're just taxing your children. The libertarian program is one I admit is very hard. We're going to have to cut spending. We're going to have to make people responsible for their own choices, but we also want people to enjoy the fruits of their labors. I think that message resonates with a lot of people, but they need to get out of their, their sense of partisan attachment where I'm on the good side, the other guys are the bad guys, we have to fight, and anyone who leaves is a turncoat, a traitor. So what's important is to get people to think more about the future of the nation than the future of their own little party. What types of things will libertarians be doing now to get that message out and to say, hey, here are the two choices that you know. Here's a third choice. You might not have known much about us in the past, but this is a good time to learn about us. Well, I think people are worried about health care. They're worried about the education system, and libertarians have a lot of ideas about both of those things. What we'd like to try to do, both, and the reason I bring those two up is both healthcare and education, we have the sense that competition and choice are somehow bad. Whereas in all the rest of the things that we do in our daily lives, we'd like to have some more choices. So a lot of, a lot of people have choices now, but a lot of people in North Carolina would like to find a way that they can send their kids to a better school. Libertarians would say, let's let parents use some of their own resources. Let's let parents and localities use some of the energy and entrepreneurship that they have to create more charter schools, to use vouchers, to use some way of getting competition back into education. And the same thing for healthcare. If you look at the one sector of the economy in healthcare that's actually become better over the last 10 years, it's LASIK surgery. That's the one that's elective, where um, the, the costs have gone down by 70%. It only costs you 30%. Instead of $1,000 now, it costs $300. It's gotten better in quality, and it's because it's available there for competition. The rest of the healthcare system is insulated from competition. So let's open things up.